Hey, Joey. I'm Joel, and uh, we're going to do some uh, some interesting stuff for you this evening. <laughs> yeah. And uh, first thing we want to get uh, is a suggestion of an uncharacteristic relationship between two people. So I don't want to hear, like, you know, mothers. Yeah, executioner or execution -y. Okay. All right. Um, and also, can I get a word? Just uh, any word that you can think of. Cactus. What was that? Cactus. Cactus? Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I need to talk to you before. But I feel like you guide me through this process of what to do. This man that stands to my right, Jeff, as I've come to know him, violated my sister. And I don't want to rain down upon him with fury that I that I feel that he deserves. But Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, I feel like if I did that, I'd betray the relationship that we've never had. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Jeff, nobody... I know we're best friends, but Jessica came home crying, man. And I want to kill you for it. And I think Jesus is okay with that. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're done painting, Dave. Don't you like it? I mean, I think this is the best way to get back at you. <laughs> is to hang this up in your loincloth and all your bits and pieces hanging out and hang it up in front of school. Well, the best way to never have started this situation is not to have broken my arm. said you touched her inappropriately. And I thought, what the hell am I going to do, man? I'm going to take away your weapons. Oh, I pray God, if that comes out, I'll take away that too. You're sick. I'm a big brother, man. But just, look, I, everything's even. High five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad anymore, Jeff. I mean, don't do this to me, man. Don't, don't treat me like I'm the criminal here. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. So are you, are you call Jessica now? You know, she said she had a really good time. How the hell am I going to call Jessica? Are you serious? <laughs> she said she had a good time. Oh, my God. <laughs> she said you were a gentleman. And that you opened her door for her. <laughs> you, oh. So what are you going to call her now? I mean, my mom. My mom is dying to know. She's, like, got you guys' whole life planned out. Yeah, she's fun. She's really fun, actually. We had a really good time the other night. Went to a pool hall. And, uh... He's a shark, man. He's a goat. I mean, like, I guess this is my first time at a pool hall. Thanks for grabbing that pool, pool stick off the rack. I appreciate that. Oh, you're yeah. totally welcome. Okay. Um, so... I don't even know what to do. Well, just go ahead and bend over the table. Like, I mean, like, am I supposed to hit this one right here? <laughs> the cute bald one? All right, you see the, you see the cute bald one? You know who else is a cute bald one? Who? Oh, there's so many of them. <laughs> <laughs> the one for 30 Rock, though, he's my favorite. <laughs> you know what I mean? So which one do I hit? The bald one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the bald, the bald one. The bald one. That's, that's the one. Look, I know 
know Dave doesn't want us to hang out. He can touch me. It's okay. <laughs> 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 Because, like, he's not even, like, really a good brother anyways. Like, he wouldn't care if you did anything you wanted to. I mean, like, look at this. Be out all night. I mean, like, I'm 15 and a half. <laughs> and you're 18, and, like, you're the totally coolest guy I know. And, like, all of the girls in class and on Facebook, they tell me I should do it. <laughs> Just go with what's in here. And then you touched her? <laughs> I mean, she's 15 and a half, Jeff. Of course she's going to throw herself at you. <laughs> she doesn't look 15 and a half, and you know that. Yeah, I've made a couple of comments about how I'd like to throw a good fuck into her if she was like... ages <laughs> older and maybe removed from my family. Because <laughs> she's my sister. That's why I say my mom. Like, she's a stupid cunt. You can't say that. <laughs> right? I can say that shit. You know, I'm proud of her. You know, she works out. She works hard. She's on the swim team. Well then, dude, why don't you, if you think that she's so wonderful and she's so great, why don't you just let her live her life and make her own decisions? Do you ever think about that? Do you ever think that maybe this wasn't just me? That maybe this was a decision on her part as well? Of course you didn't, because you never think of things like that. It's all raw emotion with you. <laughs> that I was doing my brotherly duties. But now look like, I mean, this is not okay! What's next? What's the next thing you're gonna do? Well, if you treat her right, take her to senior prom, I won't do anything. That's not what I'm talking about! And you know it! Get off my bag, dude. Come on. Do it! Do it! I'm done! I'm exhausted. You said you could do 60 push-ups. I lied. <laughs> your respect. <laughs> I did two and I attempted a third. And I think we should be proud of my effort. <laughs> <laughs> pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. You're kind of disgusting, you know that? And by kind I mean totally. <laughs> yeah, I know. picture, but she's grown up a lot since then, okay? <laughs> Trust me, man. She swims like 2,000 yards a day. Alright. Like, I want to be 
become strong enough, I can break some fuckers' arms. <laughs> <laughs> The Dave I know I can become. <laughs> so, so, so let me get this straight. If I do this for you, I can go on a date with you. Yeah, absolutely, man. Totally cool. Anything I want. Anything you want. Anything you want. <laughs> do it. Hey, game on. I think everything's gonna be okay, buddy. I totally agree. <laughs>